Namaskara. Welcome to Karnataka. Karnataka is a state in the southwestern region of India. It is the largest state in South India and seventh largest in India. It was formed on 1st November 1956, originally known as the state of Mysore. It was renamed Karnataka in 1973. The capital and largest city is Bengaluru. The state took present name a Kannada word meaning lofty land in 1973. Today we will be talking about history of Karnataka. History of Karnataka means ancient places, ancient monuments, wars and kings and many more about history of Karnataka. Let's begin. Karnataka's prehistory goes back to a Paleolithic hand axe culture advanced by discovery of among other things hand axes and clavers in the region. Evidence of Neolithic and Megalithic culture have also been found in the state. The impact of kingdoms of Karnataka origin have been felt over other parts of India also. The Chandakas Nagas of Central India, Gangas, Rashtrakutas of Manya Kheta, Chalukyas of Vijayan Yadva dynasty of Devgiri were all of the Kannada origin. How later took the encouraging local languages. The Dec Karnataka was divided between Bombay state, Mysore state and Hyderabad state. Formula rule under the British crown began in 1858. That Maharaja was there the last ruling Maharaja of Mysore. In the period that followed, parts of northern Karnataka were ruled by the Nizam of Hyderabad, the Maratha Empire, the British, and other powers. In the south, the Mysore Kingdom, a former vassal of the Vijayanagara Empire, was briefly independent. With the death of Krishna Raja was there to Hyder Ali, the commander in chief of the Mysore army, gained control of the region. After his death, the kingdom was inherited by his son Tipu Sultan. contain european expansion in south india hyder ali and later tipu sultan fought four significant anglo mysore wars the last of which resulted in tipu sultan's death and the incorporation of mysore into raj namaskar today i am going to tell you about the traditional dresses worn by women in karnataka used to wear silk sarees silk sarees are weaved by cotton and silk fabric zari plays an important role in designing the sari Zari is designed by using the silk yarn and not a visible thin wire. The sari which I am wearing is known as the Kodagu sari, and this sari is originated from the district of Karnataka that is Kodagu. The sari is also given a name as Korgi sari. This sari is tied in a different manner, not like a simple and the normal sarees. The sari is tied in a different way, like the pleats of the sari are tied at the back of the waist. and the pallu of the sari is taken over the right hand shoulder the sari is it is found in different clothes like silk cotton etc the sari has a different print like flora work stripes and etc a striking piece of jewelry worn in karnataka is called a tolan which is a gold jewelry holds a deep rooted significance in the culture of karnataka from wearing it every day to gifting it on special occasions gold jewelry forms an irreplaceable part of the lives of the people in this state and when it comes to the weddings a karnataka bride looks is incomplete without the glitter of gold belts of pins around their hips are also worn to frighten away evil spirits bell anklets are also called penjani and a silver amulet box on a chain that has a central figure of makara or kriti mukha flanked by birds and bands of floral creepers kamardani which has a hook clothing is a another popular piece of jewelry in this region traditional costumes that men wear in karnataka panche another name for dhoti is a rectangular piece of cloth that is 4.5 meters long This non-stitched cloth is wrapped around the legs and knotted around the waist. Panches are statically worn by the men of Karnataka. Cuisine of Karnataka 
Karnataka has a very diverse cuisine. Some of the most popular and traditional South Indian breakfast preparations like idli, vada and masala dosa are believed to have originated in the temple streets of Udupi in Karnataka. Dating, the cuisine of Karnataka can be classified into North Karnataka, Coastal, Kurgia Mangalorean and South Karnataka cuisine. North Karnataka cuisine In North Karnataka, the staple grains are sorghum and pearl millet along with rice. Protis made out of these two grains along with side dishes made of eggplant, fresh spice salads of vegetable, sometimes with raw lentils, spiced and stewed lentils, are popular and routinely eaten. North Karnataka people also consume a variety of spicy condiments including chutney powders called puri and pickles. Of all the other regional cuisines in Karnataka, this is known for its fiery spice level and heat. Coastal Karnataka Cuisine The cuisine of coastal Karnataka is marked by widespread use of seafood, coconut and coconut oil. Rice is the staple grain and is the centerpiece of every meal. Gravy is called kasi in Tulu language is made from chicken, fish, meat are served with rice. Lentils and vegetables cooked with coconut spices and tempered with mustard, curry leaves and generous asafoetida in a dish called huli is also served with rice. A rasam like preparation called saru is also served with rice. The meal will also contain vegetable dishes called palya, kurgi cuisine. Kurki cuisine is very distinct from the other regional cuisines of Karnataka, much like their culture. The hallmark of Kurki cuisine is the widespread use of pork and meat. Kokum is generally used in their cooking. The staple food remains rice and rice-based preparations like kadam battu, steamed rice dumplings and rice rotis. South Karnataka cuisine The South Karnataka or the Old Mysore cuisine is dominated by ragi or finger millet and rice. Ragi in the form of ragi mude or dumplings or steamed rice is the centerpiece of a meal. Often served with these two dishes are vegetable sides or palya and a selection of soups known as saru. Many authors and poets from Karnataka have contributed in the world of literature in a major way. These literary personalities continue to influence various generation of readers through their writings in English and other regional languages. So now, let's find out who are they. know that Karnataka is world famous for its arts and crafts. Today we all are going to show you some popular arts and crafts of Karnataka. Let us see Sandalwood Garden of Karnataka. Chandanwood is also known as Sandalwood. The art of Sandalwood carving has been practiced in Karnataka for at least a thousands of years. Ivory carving is a predominant craft practiced in the entire state of Karnataka. If you visit a village of sculptures, you will witness people of all ages busy with their chickles, knives and fine wires in making wonderful pieces of ivory craft. The ivory carving depicts mostly the images of God and Goddesses. Vidri ware is a metal anti-craft from Bidar. It was developed in the 14th century CE during the rule of the Bahmani Sultans. The term Vidri ware originates from the township of Bidar, which is still the chief center for the manufacture of the unique metal ware. Due to its striking inlay artwork, Vidri ware is an important export handicraft of India and is prized as a symbol of wealth. Carving in rosewood is confined mostly to Mysore and Bangalore. Unlike sandalwood carving, which is widely spread all over Karnataka, rosewood products are carved mainly in round shape. Furniture rosewood carvings are mostly related to the Shera festival. An example being a typical Ambari elephant. Furniture made out of rosewood and elephants are the products which are always in high demand and have acquired a special place in market. Over ages and eras, Karnataka has produced numerous noteworthy personalities who have contributed commendably to the nation. In different ways, famous personalities of Karnataka have made their mark in domains including social work, education, sports, politics, literature, dance, music, 
cinema and philosophy. Let's learn about them. Prakash Padukone born on 10 June 1955 is a former Indian badminton player. He was ranked world number 1 in 1980. The same year he became the first Indian to win the All England Open Badminton Championships. He was awarded the Arjuna Award in 1972 and the Padma Shri in 1982 by the Government of India. He is one of the co-founders of Olympic Gold Quest, foundation dedicated to the promotion of Olympic sports in India. Indira Gasa's full name was Srinivasa Nayaka. He was at Shimoga district and died on 2nd January 1564 at Hampi. Purandra Das was an Indian philosopher, a Haridas, a renowned composer of Carnatic music, a great devotee of Lord Krishna, a Vaishnav poet, a saint, and a social reformer. He is one of the most prominent composers of Carnatic music and is widely regarded as the grandfather of Carnatic music. Purandra Das's Carnatic music compositions are mostly in Kannad, some are in Sanskrit. He signed his compositions with a mudra pen named Purandra Vithal. Vithal is one of the incarnations of the Hindu god. Madhava Charya was born on 1238 in Pajaka. He was also known as Poona Prajna and Ananda Tirtha was the chief proponent of Tattvavada philosophy of reality, popularly known as the Dvaita school of Hindu philosophy. It is one of the three most influential Vedanta philosophies. Madhavacharya was one of the important philosophers during the Bhakti movement. He was a pioneer in many ways, going against standard conventions and norms. Karnataka is a vibrant state, famous for its festivals. Many festivals of Karnataka are conducted in the names of art, religion, seasons, etc. Today, we are going to tell you about the festivals of Karnataka. Pongal In Karnataka, Pongal is known as Makar Sakranti. According to tradition, the festival marks the end of winter solstice and the start of the sun's six-month-long journey northwards when the sun enters the zodiac Makara or Capricorn. The festival is named after the ceremonial Pongal which means to boil overflow and refers to the traditional dish prepared from the new harvest of rice boiled in milk with jaggery. To mark the festival, the Pongal sweet dish is prepared, first offered to the gods and goddesses, followed sometimes with an offering to cows and then shared by the family. Festive celebrations include decorating cows and their horns. Hampi festival is one of the main festivals of Karnataka. Hampi festival is considered the largest festival of Hampi region, although there is no fixed date of celebrating the festival, but it is usually celebrated in the month of January. This event is famous in the south region of India. Dance is an art, a sport, a way to express one's feelings out and much more. Now let's move to various dance forms of Karnataka. So let's move to our first dance form. Tolu Kunitha. Dolu Kunitha is a major popular drum dance of Karnataka. Accompanied by singing, it provides spectacular variety and complexity of skills. Woven around the presiding deity of Bereshwara or Biralingeshwara, chiefly worshipped by the Kurba Odas of Karnataka and also called Halmathasthas, it presents both entertainment and spiritual edification. Now, let's step forward to our next dance form, which is Yakshagana. More than 400 years ago, Yakshagana as a dance form originated. The word Yakshagana is derived from two words. Yaksha means nature spirit and Gana means song. The first written script on Yakshagana was found in the Lakshmi Narayana temple in Kurugodu in Samas Swadra in Bilari district dated 1556 CE. It is a traditional Indian theatre form developed in Dakshina Kannada, Udupi, Uttara Kannada and many more regions. It is believed to have evolved from pre-classical music and theatre during the period of the Bhakti movement. Its stories are drawn from Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavata and other epics from both Hindu and Jain and other ancient epic traditions. Next dance form, Shubhi Kurita, which is performed during the harvest time. 
artists in beautiful costumes and flowers danced on the tune of drums with sticks and peacock feathers to enhance the dance sometimes by their own singing it's a group dance form and is performed on drum beats in this dance initially the drummer warms up his drum on an open fire and the performers assemble in the ground with jingling anklets on their feet also it is executed for many days the performers perform this dance for various days on the final day this dance is performed for the whole day many drummers make loud voices in order to make the moment more enlivening Karnataka has a wide variety of habitats that abound with different species of animals. It's one of the richest states in terms of wildlife. Karnataka belongs to various vegetation types that range from coastal land plants to mountain flora of the Western Ghats. So now let's dive into the rich biodiversity of flora and fauna found in Karnataka. Fauna of Karnataka. Mammals. The Nata is home to unique animal species such as the Indian giant squirrel, the marble large spotted sea witch, the Indian flying fox, and innumerable other species of animals. Fishes. Some of the common freshwater fishes of Karnataka are eels, sharks, rays, and etc. The state is a paradise for bird lovers and bird watchers. The colorful and exotic species of birds found in Karnataka include the Malabar, parakeet, painted stock, cattle egrets, peacocks. Now, I'm going to tell you about the flora of Karnataka. Some species of trees, such as rosewood, teak, white cedar, etc. grow naturally in the forests of Karnataka. Some endemic tree species found in Karnataka are Hardala, Masswood, Brindleberry, Sakhochia Montana, Devil's Tree, Monkey Jack, Cinnamon, etc. Some important species of trees found in Karnataka are Dipteroca, Semicarpus, Dupamara, Myristica fauna, etc. Karnataka is the home state for the world famous Banpur breed of sheep, Amrit Mahal, and Mudhol hounds. The Yanad Lakhim thrush is seen in pairs, producing a melodious, peaceful sound and other musical notes. Today, the flowers of the Holy Marriage were daily sent to the Humphrey Street during the Shah Temple. Karnataka has a maximum number of tourist destinations in the country. It is among India's top 10 tourist destinations. Karnataka has natural attractions and man made wonders to attract tourists. Now, let's talk about it. Humphrey. Hampi is situated on the banks of Tungabandra River in the eastern part of central Karnataka near the state border with Andhra Pradesh. Hampi is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a pilgrimage center of Hindu religion. Hampi was the capital of Vijayanagar Empire in the 14th century. Hampi is famous for its ruins belonging to the Eastern medieval Hindu kingdom of Vijayanagar. The temples of Hampi, its monolithic sculptures and monuments attract the travelers because of their excellent workmanship. Bangalore. Bengaluru, formerly known as Bangalore, is the capital of the state of Karnataka. It is located in the southern India on Deccan Plateau. The city is a mix of traditions and modernity. It has a population of more than 8 million and a metropolitan population of around 11 million, making it the third populous city. Bangalore is widely regarded as the Silicon Valley of India because of its role as a nation's leading information technology exporter. Located along the Western Ghat, this famous coffee-producing hill station is well known for its jaw-dropping, ravishing scenery and opulence. It is well known for its breathtakingly exotic scenery and lush greenery. Forest-covered hills, spice and coffee plantations only add to the landscape. It is the largest producer of coffee in India. Cool, officially called Kodagu, is the most sought after the popular hill station of Karnataka. Cool landscapes stay mystery throughout the year. Thamedhini Vishwa Vinodhini Nandhini Uthay 
गिरीवरावेंद्र शिरोधी निवासी निवेशनु विलासी निदेशनु रूथे भगवती हे शिति कंठ कुतुम्बे निबुर कुतुम्बे निबुर कृते गिरीवरावेंद्र शिरोधी निवासी निवेशनु विलासी निदेशनु रूथे सूर्यवरावर्षिनी दुर्दरा दर्शिनी दुर्युमुखामर्शिनी हा